Hi, friends and family. I wanted to, this is Dr. Summer Reed. I wanted to come on here and answer a question. And this is regarding the lives of Northern California. It kind of blurring the two together, my uh, West African adventure and answering a question from the lives of Northern California. So the question was, um, should I have a hometown wedding or a destination wedding? Both can be very nice both can be expensive and you know it depends upon you and your budget let's take a look at the pros and cons of a hometown wedding and a destination wedding you can have both if you want <laughs> um in both uh if both of you grew up in the same location and most of your friends and family are there a hometown wedding might be the right choice. Convenience is easier for guests to attend, especially if they, um, you know, don't have to travel very far. It's also cost effective, and you know, hosting a wedding in your hometown can be budget friendly. Additionally, um, you know you might have more people attending okay that's a that's another thing okay um a hometown wedding might lack the novelty and adventure of a destination wedding okay there's less privacy and you're likely to have a larger guest list which means that um you will be spending more money and have less intimate moments. There's also tradition. If you're tied to a specific church or um, a sentimental location, a hometown wedding could be more suitable. Let's look at the pros of a destination wedding. It's a unique experience. Imagine exchanging vows against a stunning backdrop on an exotic beach, a historic castle, or a lush vineyard. By the way, what we're building will be hosting some destination weddings. But that's another subject for another time in a video. Okay. Also, um, the pros of a destination wedding is a smaller guest count allows for a more personal and relaxed atmosphere okay also um it would be a memorable adventure your wedding becomes a vacation for everyone involved which is kind of nice right but you know back in videos that i did 10 years ago um i talked about making things nice and making things simple if you don't have a tablecloth, you can take a really nice sheet that you like, spread them on some long tables, gather some wildflowers, make it beautiful, put them in some vases, you know, with, you know, all sorts of foliage, go to the 99 cent store, get your decorations, add them, you know, get some, you know, faux beads and diamonds and pearls, sprinkle them on the table, um, get large vases from the dollar store, put water in them, and I did that like 12 years ago on some of the videos. Um, put, you know, get a vase from the 99 cent store here in America, uh, fill it up, put in a couple of drops of food coloring, get your little floating candles, put it in there, there's your centerpiece, put some foliage around it, um, you can make things beautiful on a budget and you're able to use your creativity. If you cannot purchase a wedding cake, you can have someone that you trust and that you like their cakes make a cake for you. You can get, you know, Amazon has faux flowers. You can put some faux flowers around the cake. It's inexpensive and, and still enjoyable. There are also some options where there's, you know, fake wedding cakes. You can find them on Pinterest. You can find them on, um, you can, you know, Amazon, 
there's also some on you know other sites just look up fake cakes for sale and then you're not out of thousands of dollars and you still have that fairy tale wedding well, let's get back on the subject so the cons of a destination wedding is logistics planning a wedding abroad can be overwhelming to the bride a coordination uh, details for guests activities and recommendations requires meticulous organization if you're not an organized person and cannot you know have a wedding planner or hire a wedding planner back to the subject also limited guest attendance not everyone may be able to afford or commit to traveling to a foreign country for a destination wedding or Hawaii or offshore or whatever balancing time balancing the us time remember to balance your own experience with entertaining guests who travel to celebrate with you okay so ultimately consider what matters most to both of you not just you the bride but also the groom the comfort of a home the comfort of home excuse me tradition of the allure of adventure whether it's saying i do amidst familiar faces or creating a lifelong memory in a distant distant location just trust your heart and choose the path that resonates with your love story. And don't leave out the other person and include the other side of the family as well as your family. Or if you're just the two of you doing it, include your soon to be significant other in your plans. Don't be a bridezilla. I hope I was able to help with that question. Hi there, friends and family. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm still here in West Africa on my adventure. And I wanted to share some products that um, I have been using since I've been here. And one is this anti-malarial medication. And um, this is uh, less than a dollar US. And the recommended dose is, I do believe, three tablets a day. I take one a day. I take the homeopathic dose. I don't recommend that for everyone, um, but that's what I take. And if you cannot find this one, I love this one. And this one in the Gambia is um, $50, see, about the same price in Senegal. Um, but this is also $50, see, and it's three pills. It's made by a company in China, and um, three pills is the normal daily dose. I take one. Another item that I can't do without, and that is something that I take in the U.S., and that is diclofenac for pain, um, back pain, migraines, headaches, injuries. Um, and I take, depending on the way my budget is, one to two a day. Something else, and um, this is also fifty dollars. Same price in Senegal as it is in Gambia. And sliced bread. And this is the bread that I've been consuming daily. And I bought this um, in the Gambia. And it's um, about a dollar twenty US. It's kind of equivalent to your butter top bread, but a little bit, a little, mm, not the same consistency. It's a little bit more tougher. That's over. Now the tissue, the uh, toilet paper that I use, the toilet tissue, and it is. Ooh. I can't see the price. It's faded. But this is the chamomile toilet tissue, and it's lightly fragranced, and it's really nice. And let me show you the designs. We used to have this type of 
toilet tissue when I was a young girl, but they discontinued it in the U.S., but you can still find it here. And it was because of the dyes in the um, toilet tissue were having some adverse reactions to some people. And it was linked to possibly causing um, rectal issues, uh, cancers, and things of that nature. But I do believe the dyes that they, they've come a long ways. They don't have the same dyes that they used to use that were toxic back in the 70s. Um, so these are the products that I use since I have been here. Um, and there are some other items that I'm able to get here. And um, I'll see if I had it kind of handy. Um, and that is my Listerine and my Colgate uh, whitening with, with breath strips. That was a reasonable price. I was able to find that here with no problems, no stress. So, you know, it's like, what are you going to get into the adventure part of it? Well, we're mapping that out for you. So hold on. You will see the adventure very soon. Right now, I'm getting some rest and taking my diclofenac. So, tell me what do you want to see? You want to see me on a giraffe? You want to see us uh, with monkeys? What? Um, also, there's some content that I uh, that we did a couple of years ago. And we're just going to expand on that a little bit. So you are able to look at some content that is closely related to the title of this video. And um, you just can look under Dr. Summer, read, and then look under Gambia. If you type in those keywords, Dr. Summer, read Gambia, you can see some of the adventure before this adventure starts. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember the glass is not half empty. It's half full. And I love you guys dearly. Oh, Peanut, come here. Say hi to everybody. Yeah. Come here, say hi. Peanut says hi, and she's gonna be on the adventure too. Imagine it there. Yeah. We've got some wonderful things planned for you. So check back really soon, then you'll see what we're doing. Until next time, we're still building, and we'll show you all that at a different time. All of that content may or may not be lost because there's a lot of content that um, just didn't work out because the iPhone died and we couldn't transfer over. All right, see you guys next time. Say bye, Dina.